Hello, what's up? Ali here, and on this video, we are going to help you repair or fix your PS4 hard drive issue. So, either your hard drive had some technical issues where the firmware can no longer be detected, thus, you see the message that you have to connect your controller using a cable and it asks you to do a manual update. Or sometimes uh, it can just no longer uh, detect your hard drive. Uh, let us start with the worst case scenario because any issues regarding your PS4 hard drive is a, an indication that your PS4 hard drive is in need of replacement. And at the end of the video, we'll also discuss some stuff. Uh, what could be uh, the reason that lead to this issue and also provide some tips how we can prevent them. So when you see this message, uh, it simply means that your PS4 can no longer detect its hard drive. And to fix that, we have uh, to replace your hard drive. And to replace the hard drive, we're going to need uh, some stuff. Uh, first, we'll need the Philips screwdriver. Then, uh, we'll need uh, the data cable to connect our controller. And a USB or a external hard drive uh, to update the PS4. And also, we'll need uh, the necessary update file uh, for the update. Now, let us start with the PS4 FAT. To remove the hard drive of the PS4 FAT, on the top cover, this one, you'll need to pull this uh, up. Once you see the space, you can just uh, go ahead and uh, remove uh, the top cover. Now you will see the hard drive here. Here we'll need the Philips screwdriver to remove uh, this screw here. And once removed, we can just pull out the hard drive. So actually this is the PS4 that we are going to use for this video because it just so happens that I need to replace the hard drive of this PS4. But before we proceed, I will also show you how we can remove the hard drive for the Slim and the Pro model. For the PS4 Slim, um, you will find the hard drive at the back of the PS4. Simply pull this up and you will see this screw on this part, just remove this screw. And once removed, you can remove the hard drive by pulling this one out. Then for the PS4 Pro, the hard drive is located also at the back of the PS4. And to remove uh, the cover, simply pull this one out. There you go. Now you will see the hard drive here. Again, remove the screw. Once removed, you can just pull out the hard drive. Now let us go back to our PS4 FAT. I will just uh, no return this cover because uh, I have already replaced the hard drive inside. Next, we are going to need the, the controller and the data cable. Before we proceed to the actual update, we have uh, to prepare the update data first. So here we'll have uh, to be careful because we don't want uh, uh, to install a, a wrong update that we need. So we won't be able to install a uh, version lower than our previous version. Okay, let me very clear on this one. In case we are 9.60 or 10.01, we cannot install a 9.0 firmware. We, uh, we can install a higher firmware or the exactly uh, same firmware, but we cannot install a lower firmware. So why do we have that to be very careful? Because in case that you are on 9.0, you don't want to install a 9.60 or 10.0 because once you have started the update, you won't be able to revert your firmware unless you were able to make a backup. So I will leave a link on our description uh, where to find uh, the uh, firmware updates. If you are on the latest firmware, you can find uh, the update data here. Okay, so we are going to find that uh, to update data here. The, uh, the PS4 console update file and the PS4 console reinstallation file. So in the instance of changing the hard drive of the PS4, we'll need the reinstallation file. So in case you are trying to update or change your hard drive with this uh, update file, your PS4 won't detect this one or it will reject this file. You will only need an update file on a existing working PS4. But if uh, the firmware can no longer be loaded or you have uh, to change the hard drive, this is the file that we are going to need. So simply hover on this part and click and you should uh, start downloading the file. Now in case you are on a specific firmware and you don't want uh, to update on a higher firmware, I have also left a link on our description for a host where we can find a collection of firmwares available for your PS4. Now let's say for example you are on 9.0. So just uh, scroll down here 
you will find that the firmware version here 9.0 and the uh, link of the file so uh, if we need to reinstall and change the hard drive or reinstall the firmware we need the one gig update file so this is the file that we need so in case you are looking for a 9.0 update file scroll down on this part and you will see this file 9.0 the 400 mb update is the normal update file but again uh, since we are changing the hard drive we need uh, the the installation file so just simply hover on this part and click to download the file now for the usb or external hard drive for the update it has to be formatted to xfat or fat32 and uh, to place or to prepare our usb first we need a folder naming ps4 on the root of the hard drive make sure that it's, uh, it's all capitalized and it's on the root of the hard drive so inside the ps4 folder let us create another folder update again all capitalized and here we are going to place our update file for our ps4 to recognize the update file it has to be exactly like this one okay, so once we have uh, prepared the hard drive now we'll have uh, to connect uh, the uh, data cable with our controller and our usb with our update file now back on the screen uh, once we have uh, connected our USB cable to our controller, just simply press PS button. Then the PS4 will ask us to insert a USB with our reinstallation file. Now, uh, going back to the previous uh, page, when the uh, when the PS4 is asking for a controller, if you are pressing the PS button and uh, you are not proceeding on this part, that means that the uh, USB cable that you have is just a uh, charge cable. What we needed to register a PS4 controller on a PS4 is a data cable. You can use a charge cable to charge your controller, but on this part where the PS4 is asking for the controller, you won't be able to use any charge cable. You will have to use a data cable. So if you're not uh, going on this part, you ha you'll have uh, to change your data cable. And once you are here, simply press OK. And another thing, if the PS4 is, or if you're getting an error here that the uh, update data cannot be found or the update data is corrupted, that simply means that we have uh, the wrong update file. Again, uh, for the reinstallation process or uh, with uh, changing the hard drive, what we need is the reinstallation file. And uh, once you are on this part, just uh, choose yes. So uh, another reminder, before you, uh, hopefully uh, before you get to this part, Make sure you were able to carefully uh, choose the exact uh, uh, reinstallation file that your PS4 needs. You don't want to install a firmware higher, especially if you're on 9.0. You don't want to install any firmware higher than 9.0. But if you are using your PS4 uh, to go online, then you'll, uh, you'll need uh, the latest update. So once you get to this part, you have successfully uh, changed the hard drive and reinstalled the firmware. You'll just have uh, to run a initial setup on your PS4. And uh, if you have done everything that we have uh, showed on this video, your PS4 should be uh, back to normal. Now let us go back to the other scenario. Uh, sometimes when you boot your PS4, you will get the message that you'll have uh, to connect your controller to a uh, USB and insert a uh, update file. On that case, you don't have, uh, you don't necessarily have to change the hard drive. You'll just have uh, to install the update and follow the whole process and it will boot like normal. But again, like what we have mentioned earlier, if that happens or if that happens on a regular basis, that means that your PS4 hard drive is in need of replacement. And another thing, uh, sometimes PS4 will uh, be stuck on a blue light. It's stuck on the initialization process. There are some cases that the issue is just a hard drive or you just, you just have a bad hard drive. You can uh, change the hard drive. I'm including this on our video because uh, sometimes it is also a uh, hard drive issue. And changing the hard drive can fix the issue. So let us go now on uh, what are the uh, things that may have uh, caused this uh, or this incident. Well, unfortunately, all PS4 will eventually get to this uh, scenario. Uh, the hard drive is one of uh, the most uh, 
used part of a PS4 or, or any console. The only thing that we can do is uh, do the necessary steps uh, to us uh, to take care of the hard drive. So what can we do to take care of our hard drive? The very basic thing that we can do to take care of our hard drive is always do a proper shutdown. Now if you're in the middle of a game and uh, you're just using a safe mode and it will definitely help if you have a UPS. Because uh, if you are on rest mode and you had some uh, uh, sudden interruption on the electricity, so it will count as a improper shutdown, and it can it can cause uh, some errors on your hard drive. So it's just a, a small chance, but uh, it happens to me twice already when I left my PS4 on rest mode, and when I resume playing the ps4 it had to reinitialize so i have lost all of my save files so if you are going to leave your ps4 on rest mode you are at least using a ups so another question here or another concern can we use ssd as our ps4 hard drive and does it help well uh, yes we can use ssd you can also just follow the same exact process that we do and uh, does it help or does it improve our gameplay well, it, it improves on uh, the speed of our PS4. It starts uh, so much faster and it loads games faster, but it does not enhance uh, the uh, actual gameplay. So uh, this will be it. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, uh, do share them on our comment section. And I always take care of our questions. And again, this is Ali. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.